everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to break down the top NBA value plays on tonight's slate. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. We have seven games on tonight's slate. Uh, there's a number of injury concerns, so we're looking at some value tonight. There's injury concerns. There are rebuilding concerns. So let's get into it, and let's start with a player that is priced at the bare minimum tonight, and that is Malachi Flynn. Flynn is $3,500 for Toronto this evening. The playing time Shouldn't be a problem tonight. No, they already have Kyle Lowry ruled out. They have Fred Van Fleet listed as questionable, and that puts Malachi Flynn in a spot to see plenty of minutes. Now, he's been in the rotation a good amount over the past few games, seeing 12, 15, 19 minutes, but those should increase due to the number of injuries that they have. They also have a number of depth players out. Rodney Hood is out, et cetera, et cetera. And he's in a fantastic spot if he's in the starting lineup. Oregon, we've seen 20-plus minutes off the bench. Going up against the Wizards, they're allowing 50.03 fan points per game. To opposing point guards, that's the fifth worst in the league. We have a piece of spot for Toronto. They're 14th right now. The Wizards are number one. It's a 228 over under. Everything's lining up for a player at minimum salary to be in your lineup, seeing over 20 minutes, hopefully breaking one Fanduel point per minute tonight. As you said, Flynn's been in the rotation. Kyle Lowry already ruled out. Fred Van Fleet questionable. Malachi Flynn's numbers, minutes, everything's just going to go up tonight. And at the bare minimum, very tough to ignore here on this FanDuel slate. Moving on, we get to Minnesota where Jordan McLaughlin has been really, really good as of late. He's $4,600. He's still under 5 k I think McLaughlin is kind of hard to ignore as well. This is a classic don't get cute spot when it comes to NBA DFS. This is a spot where we expect McLaughlin to be plenty chalky, but he's going to be in the starting lineup. He's going up against Sacramento. They're allowing the sixth most fan new points per game opposing point guards he's projected to see 37 minutes tonight and going for 31 Fanduel points. He's going to break value. It's a 234 point over under, which is the highest on the slate going up against the Kings who can't play defense. He's under $5,000. Everything is lining up for him to be one of the chalkiest players on the entire slate. It's very simple. Do not fade him tonight. Get him in your lineups. As you said, everybody's going to have it. But that's okay because it makes sense tonight. He's under $5,000. The minutes have been there uh, for McLaughlin uh, with Minnesota. Tonight is going to be no different. Don't be silly. Get McLaughlin in the lineup. One final player to get to, and he's under $4,000 tonight. That's Isaiah Stewart of the Detroit Pistons. The um, the play tonight with Stewart here, $3,700, like we said. First night of a back-to-back for Detroit. Why do you believe he belongs in the lineup? He not only should be in your DFS lineup, but he should be the starting center for the Pistons tonight because Plumlee has been ruled out due to rest. We have the Pistons going up against the Thunder. It's two teams that don't want to win, and that means we're going to be seeing plenty of their young players, and that means plenty of value. When Plumlee is off the court this season, we see Stewart producing 0.91 Fandu points per minute. And right now on number five, he comes in as the best projected value play going for 29 Fandu points in 30 minutes. Another simple spot under $4,000, going to see 30 plus minutes, going to put up all those FanDuel points, drop them in your lineup so you can go up for uh, plenty of stars in the other spots. The big man getting an opportunity to start here tonight. As we said, first night of a back-to-back for Detroit, playing the Thunder team where we expect a lot of young players to just be productive overall here in this one. Uh, Stewart's under $4,000 and is well worth getting into your FanDuel lineups at the center position. That's going to do it for us here in the FanDuel Hurry Up. Tom, we appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Same to you. Talk to you in a few days. This is the opportunity for you to, well, not get a little lucky, but be a little skillful. The national championship game on tonight, that's where all eyes are. That's where you can take advantage here in NBA DFS on FanDuel. Tomorrow, Davis Maddock will join us as we take a look at the best bets to win the Masters. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the games tonight, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.